All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get and use ChatGPT on your Nintendo 3DS. This is a very cool app that I just recently found, and I'm actually kind of surprised that this thing is able to do it. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to Universal Updater 2, download the ChatGPT app. And unfortunately, it's not that simple, but getting it on here is that simple. So we're gonna head over to the Universal Updater, like we do for a lot of these videos, to be honest. And we're just gonna scroll down, and eventually you will see this right here, ChatGPT 3DS, make an open AI uh, API calls directly from your Nintendo 3DS, made with Love Brew. So I, I know the guy that made this, well, I don't know him, but I know of the guy that made this. I'm gonna link his, um, channel in the description so if you want to show support for this app go check him out he did an amazing job with this so once you're here click a download the 3dsx again mine's in japanese because um i have a japanese 3ds but it'll be in english for you click yes it'll download once it's done downloading um it will be in your homebrew launcher but before we do anything else well I would say go ahead and launch the homebrew launcher just so we can open the app one time and create the kind of files that we need. So we're going to scroll down here and you will find ChatGPT 3DS. Just open it. It might take a second to load. It doesn't take too long. So now you're here and you think, oh, well now I can just start using it. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. You do need to get an API key, but they are free and they're very easy to get. You just have to do a little stuff on a, uh, I guess you could probably do this on a phone technically, but it'd be easiest on a laptop or a computer. So to get an API key, it's a very long string of numbers and most of the time getting an API key, you won't actually be able to type into this. So I'm gonna show you how to get an API key and how to properly input it into your 3DS. So we're gonna head over to my computer here and as you can see, this is the GitHub for the ChatGPT 3DS. Download the latest version, place ChatGPT, which you can also get it from Universal Updater. And then it says this is optional, but honestly, I would say this is required because most of the time you cannot get your API key um, typed in. You have to make this file. So what do you need to do? Well, you need to go to OpenAI online and you need to create an account if you don't have an account already. I already have an account, so we're fine. And you're going to need to go to the API keys page once you create an account and you're going to create a new key. I don't mind if you guys see this one because I'm not going to use it, but you're going to type in a key. So we'll just call it test and then select default and click create and boom. It's going to make this very, very long string. Like watch this. It's very long. It doesn't fit in the 3DS. Um, nine times out of 10, it's not going to fit in the 3DS box. You'll just go over the character limit. So what you need to do is you need to copy this and you need to um, open Notepad and it's going to make a notepad. And then what you're gonna need to do is you are going to need to paste that key in there, click File, Save As, and you're gonna talk, call it API underscore uh, key and save. And I'm not gonna save it because I already have it, but it's going to save to wherever you choose to say it, save it. Mine's gonna be in the downloads folder. And once you get it into the downloads folder, as you can see, we have the API key right here in the downloads folder. You are gonna need to plug your SD card into your computer or use FTPD to wirelessly file manage to your computer. And you are gonna need to go to 3DS, saves, and then you're gonna put API key.txt. There might already be an API key file in there. And if there is, just delete that one and put the new one that you just made in there. But put that in there. And then um, again, if you use FTPD, you're good. Or if you unplugged your SD card, just put it back into your DS and you will be good to go. And now your API key will be on here. Obviously I would say reset the app or even just turn off the entire system and turn it back on and your API key will be set. It's not gonna show up in here, but it is set and yeah, that's pretty much it. Once you get the API key in, um, again, I would recommend just plugging your SD card into your computer, creating the API.txt because nine times out of 10, the length is just gonna be too long for the 3S chat box, so you won't be able to type in the whole thing. Um, but yeah, that's how you can use ChatGPT on your 3DS, it's very cool. Again, link in the description to, you can see right here, by Carson Common. 
Link in the description to his channel and his video on this. It is very, very cool, and it's very impressive to see where modding has take, uh, taken the 3DS in 2025. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. Make sure to like, subscribe. If you wanna see me live, I stream on Twitch almost like twice a week, sometimes three times a week. So come check out, come hang out. All links are in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video.